I remember a little bit before I went in, I was staying with my grandmother. My mother had taken and, and was traveling with her boyfriend at the time. And they were traveling. He was selling magazines. And that's what he did for a living. And, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. But my grandmother and a fellow by the name of Tommy Newton, he was a crippled guy. And he, he, he was born that way. And he said, we're, we're going we're gonna to take a, take a ride in a cab. So he took a ride in a cab. And he brought me up to the old orphanage up in Assonens. And he brought me inside. And he said, I'll be back to pick you up in a little bit. I'm still waiting. And that old building over there, that was the first orphanage. And I tried to get that remodeled and they wouldn't let me do it because that, that property was turned over to us. And they said you had to see the historical society in Lansing. And so we wrote to them and they said, oh no, we're saving that. We need that for, for uh, history. Well, I see what they needed for history now. It's all pretty near flat on the ground and that's what they want to do with history and Indians. Make sure it's flat on the ground and you don't see it anymore. And I believe that's what it was about. I drive by there quite often. Yeah, I look at the old barn, go through the parking lot, what's empty now. Think about a lot of things. You know, things that weren't you know, very happy about, but things that did happen. The priest would would get you with the razor strap. I didn't always get it, but I, I did get it a couple of times. I mean, hell, when you're when you're that age, you know, how the hell can you, you? You haven't sinned. You haven't done anything. So I had to make up some stuff. So I did, and. By God, I got the razor strap. <laughs> was supposed to just forgive me. <laughs> you know, so the story goes, you know, you go in there and they'll forgive your sins. <laughs> Hell, he never forgive my sins. He, he called me in later. <laughs> I just wish that this country would remember Indians like they should because this is their history. This is their history and, and you would think we never existed. <laughs>